So before you spawn, anybody that's in back spawn, like a support spawn, can hit Y to change their grenades if they want to. They can pick between uh, smoke and flash. So the flash bang's a new grenade uh, inside Gears. What happens is when you throw the smoke grenade and it lands, it sort of detonates and a sort of concussion, like concussive blow goes out and players get stunned. Um, it's like the stunning is really powerful because you can make sure that you know, a player doesn't hit his shots or can't even take shots for a little while. But it's always in smoke, right? And so um, you end up playing in smoke a lot because there, it's so impactful having stunned players. And so what we've done with Gears 5 is we've taken the smoke and sort of just made it its own thing. And now we have split them into two and improved both. You can take a smoke grenade to ensure that somebody can't see what you're doing. But if you want to stun them, which is, a, a you know, if you're attacking a point or something like that, you can take the, the flashbang. Can we get the game started? Is everybody ready? Yeah. Hurt, Tommy. Dude. Down mid. I'm down. I got nice. Get me. 19, 19, 19. Get me. I actually have three mid. I got one. Oh my nice god. Nice shot. Did you see that? Oh well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right there. You said how you can upgrade weapons because they start with low, low ammo. Upgrades are picks. So everything's a pick. What you can do is you can either choose to make it respawn faster or give it more ammo. So they picked a flashbang, so and so now it's actually a cursor selection. So now you vote between smoke and flash. So the sort of team captain gets to choose the slot that you're going to adjust, and then everybody votes on the one thing that they want. So if the team is really coordinated and communicating, they'll all sort of vote the same thing. But if they're not, then you might see people go like, no, I want this one, no, I want that one. And then like they'll be sort of arguing it out a little bit. When people first start picking in early rounds, they don't actually pick the most powerful weapons. They're not allowed to. So on the next pick, they can upgrade that into a more powerful weapon, like a, a precision rifle or a submachine gun. And then from there, what they can do is upgrade it into a power weapon with a, a third pick. The things you have access to are the center line and your half. Okay. Except there's one little nuance. You can choose to deny a slot to the enemy team on their territory. It won't spawn anymore for three rounds. But after those three, three rounds, it comes back. Okay. So you better hit A quick yeah, on which one you want. So and you can, you can place it like yeah. anywhere? Yeah, so they're placing it like basically on their secondary close okay. to spawn. Oh, I missed some shot. Okay. Yeah. There is. Hold on. I see it. I see it. I got Vic on me. Oh, I got down. I got down there. Huh? I'm behind you. That guy's really hurt. 21? 21's really hurt. They, they went out. They went. I'm gonna shoot out. Behind you, he's pushing behind you as well. I got one. Can we get a break on our house? If I miss, just cross 200. Just make sure you don't get three capped here. Gotta get in a ring. There we got one. I got one down. Somebody has to cut that up. Uh, I died in our house. Our house was pushing our home. Fine. Oh, I missed. Uh, the bonus scores like crazy, boys. Just keep going on them. So you can see on the top left, like, how many, like, respawns you've got? Let's go! Let's go, man. Oh, I'm doing it. Let's go, D-cap. You D-cap, buddy. Good job. Nice job. Nice job. I'm doing it. Bro. Let's go. Let's go. Easy, mate. Let's go. So every round, you get, a, like, one extra life. So there you are down to two. Like, if you burn them all up, then, like, literally you just get one. Yeah, I know. Like, when you're choosing to spawn, like, right now, you're choosing to, like, deplete your lives, right? So you're going to start this round with three. They were calling on the other side. They're like, they're burning lives. They're burning lives. Just kill them. So just something to keep That's just not, like, active up here. I know, I know. Yeah, it's a different way of thinking about it. I'm rotating back to hell. I'm gonna have shots I'm from him. our middle side. Yeah, huh? 17 is just low. Yeah. One on your left, on your left, on your left, on your left. Oh, I might die. Uh, I'm gonna help here. They're trying to crunch on our home. 
I'm gonna play it with me. Okay, this is. For which, like, we do a calculation of which team will win if it continues like this. Yeah, right? I've, been, I've been paying attention to that. Yeah, so, like, for there, like, once it's, like, one minute or something like that, it starts counting down. Like, obviously, you can affect it. Yeah. And if it goes, like, if you swing it around, it'll go away. But it'll tell you, like, a countdown. Like, we're winning, we're winning. Uh, so you don't have to do, like, the men mental, like, calculation anymore. Yeah. I mean, I like that. It's, it's helped me through this right now. All right. Also, when you're in TACOM, if you bring up TACOM right now, you can see how many lives each of the other team has. Your team and the other team has, yeah. So if you want to, if you see someone who's low and you're like, holy, like if we could just like eliminate one, yeah. like you can go for that. Okay. I got a third one in this house. But I have on one shot in my, in my home. Oh, he cut back. Did you see the little dots like on the screen? Do you see the little dots yeah. on the screen when you're getting hit? Can you actually tell? Like, can you read them? Yeah, right I can. Now? Yeah, I yeah. can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, especially when you went wide on me. Yeah. And I hit him with that. Um, the second shot, I could tell his, his body language changed. My full spread hit him. Right. Seen, yeah. Yeah. You can actually see. Sorry. Uh, you can actually see the times now on all the respawns. So like, if like you can actually tell like when snipes coming up. I seen it. it said six, I think. Six, yeah, it was six, six seconds. So yeah. snipes up. Uh, yeah, there you go. They just got it. All right, I'm up. I'm up. Go, Marcus. Marcus dies. All right. I got hit by snipe. He's been on like five lives ever since he went to zero. <laughs> Not repeating that mistake. <laughs> So here you're picking, you get to vote between, because they're upgrading the grenades. It's now like the Marksa, Hammer Burster, and sin, Incense. So pick which one you want. So then they, the, your team placed an Incense in there. But I'm still getting used to it, because sometimes I feel like um, I'm not hurt, but right. then I'm, I really am like yeah. full red because it's coming in this way. You get like, as you're getting shot, there's like new indicators kind of showing you where uh -huh. you're getting shot from. So like, sort of watch for those. It's like the, the Omen will start to kind of show up a little earlier than the creep comes in. And so if you just watch for the yeah, hits, you kind of get a better feel for how damaged you are. Yeah, it feels weird. I have no lives. I have no, I have no lives. You have no lives, Kenny? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, you I'm have out. no lives? I'm out. Like, I used all my lives. Yo, right Kenny, Kenny you, are you okay? Yeah. You got destroyed. I'm sorry. It's bad. <laughs> how, many, how many lives do you end up with there, Kenny? Don't pick up against me, bro. Just know it. You know it, bro. How many lives do you end up with there? It's bad. You, can you guys put the claw down on the center line? Yeah, there's bandstand. Just put put the claw down in the center line, please. The swarm has been around now for a little while. They've made their own weapon and they made the claw. And it's big, powerful, frightening, but it's also a little janky. Like it's the swarm that are making it. They're not the best engineers. It has like an inverse accuracy on it. So if you're shooting and you hold down the button, it actually gets more and more accurate. But then that sort of swarm engineering comes into play where if you hold it for too long, it sort of starts like coughing a little bit, goes like and the spread goes all over the place and it goes slower and like the the kick gets harder to manage and then you have to like let go and then start again to sort of get that sphere again. And so uh, it's a very powerful weapon, but there's a little depth in it in like really controlling the accuracy and getting the most out of it. I want hands. I'm shooting behind him, Marcus. Down. Coming to you guys. Uh, behind behind us. us, it's the guy behind us. If you ever, if you ever get somebody on the like on the ground, just that was elimination. Still that, that, oh yeah, that there you go, eliminated. Strong. You were completely eliminated. But yeah. your team got completely that eliminated. That was an elimination on the victory. field there. So uh, there's a new like winning winning condition now, which is uh, if you wipe the whole team before they can respawn, you win the round. Automatic. So, yeah, we call it an elimination victory. It's just like no, like the team's not left standing, so like you win. You were close to three capping, but it was, they actually killed everybody, like muffed everybody up before the three cap happened. So we cut it short. Uh, there's two on E. I have a kill. Oh yeah, nades out. So if I have like, if I have four respawns, right, yeah. and I spawn up at the end of the round, and then it ends, like I lost that respawn now, right? right. Like yeah. I'm not going up the five. Yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah, I have to really manage it. Like that end moment, especially when you're like, holy shit, like you have to make that call, like, can I run there and get, like, actually impact this fight? Or should I aim back? Yeah, so now it's actually down, like, escalation used to go up for the respawn timer. Now it's down, so it's actually 10 seconds. So it's going to go fast. 
Well, we had like no spawn, so we gotta, you know, hit some shots. Come here, man. I couldn't even, nice. I couldn't even hear you if you were pushing. Nice job. Well done. Uh, so on like behalf of the whole coalition, we like thanks everybody for uh, coming out to the play test. I know it's it's Saturday and there's other things you could be doing, but we really appreciate you coming out. See you later. Yeah.